<clears throat> All right, Shalom, Shalom. Kahalayon la Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Hakodash, that by honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well, must peace, love, and salutations to the brothers through this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom, this is the brother Batak, back again through the spirit with another and with another lesson. And the title of this is going to be um, named Wormwood. So warm word basically um, According is It's actually in the scriptures in Revelation chapter 8 And I'm, I'm going to get What actually worm wood is As you can see on the screen if, You know uh, Chernobyl is An example Of um, Actually the, the word meanings As you can see Chernobyl meaning in Russian It says in Russian and Ukrainian The word Chernobyl means blackweed or is a member of the wormwood family the ukrainian city of chernobyl was na so named after abundance of this weed growing in and around the city chernobyl ukraine july 2005 so chernobyl is the city where a nuclear disaster happened um and the city Okay, here it is. Okay, why was Chernobyl bad? It says the, the Chernobyl disaster caused serious radiation sickness and contamination. Between 50 and 185 million curries of radionuclides escaped into the atmosphere. Millions of acres of forest and farmland were contaminated. Livestock were born deformed and humans suffered long-term negative health effects. So there was a nuclear disaster. Okay. Let's see, hold on. Was Chernobyl the same as a nuclear bomb? The, the Chernobyl nuclear accident was caused by an unfortunate cocktail of human error and flawed radiator, reactor design. It was the worst nuclear disaster in history, releasing more than 400 times as much radioactive material as the Hiroshima, Hiroshima atomic bomb. So to this day, um, Chernobyl is well known for the nuclear disaster that happened. Um, and the word Chernobyl goes back to, it means black wheat, which goes back is a member of the Wormwood family. Now, remember the scriptures speak about the Wormwood in the book of Revelations. Let's get it. This is the book of Revelations 8 and 10. It says, and the third angel sounded and a great star fell and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the rivers which is talking if it says third part it's referring to Esau <sighs> ultimately America so that great star it's not talking about an actual star it's talking about the, the nuclear warheads the nuclear destruction it says and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. Now, when you look it up in the Greek, it doesn't really say anything um, concerning what the word Wormwood means. It says, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. So, Wormwood is, is basically its radiation. That is what killed them. That's what wormwood is in the scriptures. Because one thing, like I just got um, wormwood, radiation, radiation poisoning can kill you. And um, nuclear missiles, nukes or atomic bombs and things of that nature, they, they leave radiation. Radiation is a, a, de a, a definite um, result of nuclear destruction or a nuclear bomb going off. And ultimately, wherever that bomb goes off and detonates, it releases radiation. Hold on, let me see. Nukes release. Radiation. All right. 
I typed in on Google, nu nuclear weapons produce ionizing radiation, which kills or sickens those exposed, contaminates the environment, and has long-term health consequences. So, that's clear. So, let's go back to Revelation. Revelation 8, in um, verse 11, says, The name of the star is called Wormwood, which is what? Radiation. It's, it's talking about, the star is talking about the missiles, the warheads, because those warheads hit it's going to cause a big mushroom cloud like the scripture says it's going to cause a great earthquake so there's many scriptures says there was a great earthquake that's talking about those nuclear missiles hitting the hitting the earth you know it says in the in the third part which is I'm talking about esau i'm ultimately america the third part of the waters became wormwood so they became radiated they became contaminated and you cannot drink anything you cannot drink contaminated waters. That's why nobody lives in Chernobyl. Because you cannot live there because it's 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 basically uninhabitable. You can't live there. You know, it has a devastating effect on the environment, which is that radiation. Okay, it says, in the name of the stars called Wormwood, in the third part of the waters became Wormwood. They became radiated and contaminated. And many men died of the waters which, because they were made bitter. So hold on, let me slide. Let me look up that word, bitter. See what it says. Let's see, is there a word there? Strong's G, 4087, Pekrino. 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 It means to make bitter, to produce a bitter taste in the stomach, to embitter, to render angry, amen, to be, to be embittered, irritated, to vi to visit with bitterness, to grieve, deal bitterly with. Let's see, uh, to ex expect, expirate. Let me see what that word means. Judgment going out. Salakia. So like, yeah. Judgment going out, man. <laughs> I believe it's an offer officer involved shooting. Came to my phone. Um Okay, so like your expert. Uh. So like, let me pull up another tab. some reason it's not pulling up the actual word it's so like it let's go to the root of it for the word bitter so it literally it says bitter harsh vulnerant see so it just says bitter but we know that that bitterness is actually something that's gonna be that's gonna be deadly um, because the scripture says it. Uh, Revelations eight and um,
back to this tab <clears throat> concerning the nuclear radiation. All right, it says hazard from fallout after a nuclear detonation arises from external exposure to penetrating radiation released from the decaying radioactive particles. About 5% of the energy released in the air, nuclear air bursts is in the form of iodizing radiation. It says, do nuclear bombs release radiation? A nuclear blast produced by explosion of a nuclear bomb, sometimes called a nuclear detonation, involves the joining and splitting of atoms called fusion and, f fusion and fission to produce an intense pulse or wave of heat, li light, air pressure, and radiation. The scriptures speak about that destroying wind. Indeed, this is a, a great invention. And the Lord gave Esau the ability to create these missiles in order to destroy himself. I forgot what precept I was going to get. Forget, forgive me. Oh, I remember. The water you have This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51. Destroying wind. Jeremiah 51 and 1. It says, This said, thus said Yahweh, behold, I am I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that raise up against me a destroying wind, which that's a part of the the many the plagues of the missiles. It's the book of Job, chapter 4, verse 9. It says, By the blast of the Most High they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. Right, because ultimately the Lord is going to destroy Esau with that blast, which is referring to the nuclear missiles and the nuclear destruction, and also the laser beams that are coming from the chariots. That is going to be the, the downfall and the destruction of our enemy Esau. And after that, the elites, the ones who are uh, still alive that are hidden, let's get that real quick, are going to be the first ones that are carried, carried off into slavery. This is Amos 9 and 1. As I saw Yah the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door that the post may shake. Now, the, the, the door represents America. Uh, it says, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Because ultimately, once America is destroyed as a result of, you know, the Lord pouring out his wrath, there will be individuals, the elites, ultimately the ones that are going to so-called escape. Um, they're going to live for a purpose, you know. They're, they're living so... Uh, they would be the first ones to be hauled off and carried off into slavery. This is verse two. Thus, they dig though they dig into into hell. Thence shall my hand take them. So what? They're gonna basically make bunkers and things of that nature in order to escape the destruction, which they will, you know. And they will be the first ones that get carried into slavery. It says though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Right? You know they got international. They got. Uh, the International Space Station, things like that in heavens as a place of refuge when because they know that destruction is coming. They know the Lord is going to return. They know what's going to happen. You know, so they're building these things in order to escape it. This destruction, which they will and will be the first ones to call to be caught into captivity. Verse three, it says, and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, Car I will search and take them out thence because ultimately the, the men of the Lord are, are going to be an example on those that round up these these nations, man. Round up these elites. Wherever they at, the men of the Lord are going to go get them. You know? I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight at the, in the bottom of the sea, right? These devils probably got underwater um, facilities that they can, you know, run to once they, um, once the destruction comes. And guess what? It says, Dents will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. So ultimately, you're not going to get away from Yahweh Shah. Verse 4 says, So, it don't matter what you do. If you, you know, they got mountain retreats, they got whole cities underground, man. These devils know what's finna come. That scripture says, Hide us from the wrath of the Lamb. I don't know. 
let me see, wrath in him and the lamb and he that sitteth on the throne. Here it is. Revelation chapter 6. I'm start at 13. No, I'm going to start at 12. It says, and, behold, and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and, I, and lo, there was a great earthquake. What is that great earthquake? It's the nuclear destruction, those nukes hitting the earth. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell into the earth, even a, as a fig, tire, a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind, which is what? Nuclear destruction, those warheads hitting the earth. And the heaven departed as a stroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Right, because this land, America is gonna be laid flat. You know, is a lot of uh, is a lot of mountains in America. But once the destruction and those missiles hit, it's gonna lay uh, it's America's gonna be a plane. It's gonna lay everything flat. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna destroy everything. America's gonna be a straight plane, man. That's what that's how that's the indignation of Yahweh Bashim Shada. The the fierceness and his wrath is gonna lay down mountains, man. It's gonna just flatline mountains. That's verse 14 again. And the heavens departed as a scroll, which is a mushroom cloud. You can look up what a mushroom cloud look. When it is rolled together, and every mountain and every island will move out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great men great and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and the every bond man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains because there will be some that escape but there's a there's a reason for that there's a reason for their escape it says verse 16 and and said to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne which is the heavenly father Yahweh. And from the wrath of the Lamb, because at the same time, simultaneously, Yahweh Shah is going to be, he's going to be present, and he's going to be executing judgment on his enemies and delivering the elect. Verse 17, for the great day of the, his wrath has come, and who shall abide, who shall be able to stand, right? So, this destruction, and wormwood ties together, it come, it ties in together, you know? Uh, let's go real quick. Psalms. This is the future of Esau. This is what the Lord has planned for Esau. Psalm 7 and 13. No. Uh, yeah. Psalm 17 and... Uh, no, I'm sorry. Psalm 7. In verse 11, it says... It says, God judges the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword, which he hath bent his bow and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him, the wicked, the instruments of death. He ordered his arrows against the persecutors. So that the arrows, the instruments of death is referring to Esau's destruction. And those, those missiles speak of it. You know, uh, wait, there was another scripture that talks about, uh, let me see. Because their nuclear destruction is Esau's judgment from the Heavenly Father. And the Lord set that up even from the beginning. The Lord already knew. Hey, the scripture says declaring the end from the beginning. The Lord knew how he was going to take this devil out. That's why he gave him the technology to be able to. To, to do the things that he does Here it is uh, Psalms 11 I knew it was something in Psalms 11 and 6 It says Upon the wicked he shall rain snares Fire and brimstone What is that? Fire and brimstone is the same judgment that uh, Sodom and Gomorrah received And America is going to receive that same thing Fire and brimstone It says Fire and brimstone And in a horrible tempest This shall be the portion of their cup that horrible tempest means a dangerous wind. And that comes as a result of the detonation of nuclear missiles, along with radiation and many other things. So this is the destruction of Esau. And we're and, and those men, 
the, the men of the Lord are going to witness the fall of Edom. It's going to be evident. The destruction is going to be a public example, if you will. You know, the destruction of America is going to be a public example. So this is what Esau has coming. And this is what we're going to see, you know, Lord willing, in these last days, uh, Esau being destroyed. So with that, Lord willing, let's us with edifying through the spirit. Wormwood is talking about radiation. Wormwood, wormwood is radiation as a result of the destruction of Esau. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to close out by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, with Kaha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who really teach well. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.